Linux Mint or Lubuntu? What is your favorite small operating system? Hello friends, this is Nick from NLB Solutions and today I'm going to show you two small operating systems that I found and I think they are pretty cool. Um, the thing is that I have an old laptop that I want to utilize and uh, while I can install modern operating systems like, well, not so modern anymore, Windows 7, it's not performing so well, so I decided to look uh, into this deeper and see if I'll be able to find a small operating system that can help me to utilize this old laptop and see what I can do with it. So, the first operating system that I want to show you is the Linux Mint. Uh, basically, it's a pretty cool operating system. It looks really great and uh, it's basically an operating system that has proven over the past to be a stable and reliable one. And uh, the, one of the coolest features is that um, it contains, it has a menu like, for example, me, I'm uh, pretty much a Windows user. Um, I really like the um, interface where I can uh, um, know and uh, it can be familiar to me and um, this is uh, this integration with Linux Mint it's really a cool thing to see. Um, of course uh, there are uh, a lot of um, applications that are built in with uh, the installation so uh, most of the things that uh, you need to do in your day-to-day uh, -day tasks can be achieved for example you have uh, the uh, LibreOffice which is uh, a pretty much a good uh, equivalent of the um, uh, Microsoft Office tools um, you have um, uh, Firefox web browser uh, of course you can install Chrome uh, here and uh, you have a lot of cool features which uh, you can check and uh, it's pretty much a cool thing because um, when you when you install the operating system in your uh, in your old laptop or a PC it can automatically detect everything that it needs and it will uh, download that uh, using the uh, repositories and it will automatically install everything for you so you don't have to worry about it you have the driver manager here uh, it will uh, try to find any third-party drivers that are needed for your system and um, yeah, I, I really like that system, and uh, it's uh, it has a lot of a lot of cool um, cool features. Um, also, um, it has um, the appearance that it has is really nice. I have uh, uh, checked the, the the desktop um, um, pictures that it contains, uh, and they are really really awesome. And it can do really well into installing. Uh, on an older older system so this is uh, one of the operating system that uh, I wanted to show it's basically based on a Ubuntu and uh, um, it can work on uh, really small systems with uh, less than one gig of RAM and um, older processors this is uh, actually a 32-bit um, version of the operating system and you can see that uh, it's performing re really well and uh, this is basically the the live CD I did not install the operating system from here if I go ahead I can really install that it's it's uh, a few clicks to install and it's uh, really really good so the next operating system that I want to show is uh, Lubuntu and as you can see from the uh, name of the operating system it's um, based again on Ubuntu but it's really a stripped down version and um, this is the one that I'm working on at the moment on my uh, laptop and it's behaving really well as you can see it does not contain a cool graphical interface with a lot of features but it's uh, again with the features that you have with Lubuntu you can really go ahead and customize your system the way you like it and again it goes with um, some pre-building applications which can help you um, of course uh, 
for the internet you have the Firefox web browser but you can download Chrome for Office you have uh, Abbey Word which is basically a pretty much you can see that it's uh, pretty much uh, familiar to you with uh, Windows Word and uh, yeah the functionality is great again you have the uh, menu bottom on the bottom left side and um, from there you can you can even run um, uh, different commands and different applications it's it's really familiar to Windows and for Windows users uh, this is a, a good way for you to try and see if that's going to work for you um, I've even checked the task manager that is previewed in you can see that at the moment uh, the operating system and this is this is a live CD once again but uh, after I installed the operating system on my old laptop it is using only uh, less than 200 megs of RAM which is amazing so um, yeah guys um, give it a try give it uh, try and see both operating systems if you like them and you can tell me what's your favorite small operating uh, system of course um, if you have better better suggestions you can uh, put a comment below I will check them I'll try to install them on my older laptop to see how it behaves and um, yeah, thank you very much for viewing and see you soon.